What's happening, everybody? Greg Ehrenberg here from Odd Chopper. It's Monday, and let's break down the best bets of the day that are projected in Odd Chopper. Looking primarily at baseball today. Going to get to that in a second. But first, if you guys could do me a favor, like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you have not done it already. And if you want to sign up for Odd Chopper for the first time, we have a link below. It is going to get you 70% off the first time you sign up. And I also wanted to show you some of the bets I had from yesterday over the weekend. So uh, kind of some funny results here in terms of the Brandon Belt homer, which uh, really made my day yesterday, make it profitable. And the Brandon Belt homer, totally lucky, but it was kind of interesting story. So just thought I would kick off my week by telling you this. If you guys didn't see the home run that Brandon Belt did yesterday, playing against uh, Blue Jays, playing against the Seattle Mariners, he hits a long fly ball to right field. And it looked like it was heading to be an extra base hit. Teoscar Hernandez jumps at the wall to try to catch it. And it wouldn't have been a home run it was probably going to go somewhere off the top of the wall, but Teoscar Hernandez trying to make the play wasn't able to flag the ball down. Ball goes off his glove, goes over the wall, and it makes me an extra 600 bucks yesterday. So thank you, Teoscar Hernandez, and also thank you to Brandon Belt for hitting that ball as well as he did. But either way, it was a nice little present that I got over the weekend and uh, also some bets that I found via Odd Shopper. And now let's start to look at some of the best bets that are available on the board for Monday. Maybe we can find some more home run props that could also be profitable for us. Going to sort by baseball bets here. And let's see what is standing out. First starters here, Graham Ashcraft for under four and a half strikeouts. I have really, if, if you guys watch my content dating back to last year when I first started doing baseball bets on this channel, I don't know if there's a single player I've had more success betting than under strikeouts for Graham Ashcraft. And it's not like he has lines that are five and a half or six and a half or anything. They're modest lines, but this is just not a pitcher who is good or a pitcher that generates strikeouts. 5.77 ERA this year for Graham Ashcraft, 5.42 expected ERA. He has great stuff, but it just doesn't translate to strikeouts. Only a 15.8% K rate this year, 15.3% last year. So we get these lines on him, like four and a half strikeouts, and he just very rarely ever hits the over on these for reference. We have only seen one start for Ashcraft since May 28th, where he's had more than three strikeouts in a single start. He had seven in an outing against the Padres. Every other start, two strikeouts, one strikeout, two strikeouts, two, two, three. So whenever we get these four and a half numbers, I just pound the unders on Graham Ashcraft, and they almost always win. So under four and a half Ks for Ashcraft, love that number. And as far as home runs, let's see if we could find some ones that we like here. David Fry is projecting decently well, plus 800, so not all that likely to win, but still we do have plus 698 is the fair odd, so 13% expected EV. But let's see, anything else in the home run department? Matt Chapman against the Dodgers today. And Matt Chapman's uh, third baseman, primarily known for his glove, but does have a good amount of power in his bat. If you look at the numbers overall for Chapman this year, he has hit 12 homers in the first 97 games, 27 homers exact in each of the last two years. He also is a guy who generally has an ISO right around 200. So uh, Chapman plus 390 to hit a homer. We got the fair odds of plus 377. Nothing crazy popping up as far as home runs go. Let's look for more strikeout props. So some more strikeout props. John Gray, who's low-key not having a great season. I know his ERA might indicate that he's playing, that he's uh, pitching well this year. But you look at the underlying numbers, and there's regression coming the second half of the year for John Gray. And also, it's really weird that's going to be most prevalent and most important for this prop. His strikeouts are way down this year. And a little bit of a dip in velocity, nothing crazy. 96 average mile per hour fastball velocity last year, 95.6 this year. But in terms of strikeout rate, he went from striking out 25.7% of the hitters he faced a year ago to only 19.8% this year. So I referenced the ERA and how I think it's going to regress. Here's why. 3.31 ERA this year for John Gray, but a 4.44 expected ERA, a 4.47 FIP. And then when you look at the decreased swinging strike rate, the decreased velocity, I do think strikeouts are going to come down in the set, or I should say the ERA is going to come up and the overall results are going to come down for John Gray in the second half of the year. Fairly difficult matchup on the road against the Houston Astros who do not strike out very much. I do like under five and a half strikeouts for John Gray. A little bit of juice, but still we have the line projected to be even more juiced than what it is in terms of the fair line. So I like John Gray for under five and a half strikeouts. That's really what's standing out the most to me to open up the day. But let's go and look at prize picks. Check out the prize picks 
entry builder and see what is standing out. We have Marcus Semien under one and a half total bases. Luis Castillo under two and a half total runs against the weak Minnesota Twins offense. Mookie Betts under one and a half total bases. Uh, Price Durfer under three and a half strikeouts against the Padres. Bobby Wood under one and a half total bases. And then one over is on Graham Ashcraft here for over 16 and a half outs. So even though I was just kind of singing negative stuff, saying negative things about Graham Ashcraft, he does give up a lot of runs. He doesn't generate strikeouts, but he's pretty efficient with his pitch counts and generally works deep in the game. So I don't mind him for over 16 and a half outs. Just need him to get through six innings. We'd be looking good there or actually just get two outs in the fifth inning. And that would also work. So that is the number one prize picks play that we have in here. Go build out a parlay now. And if you guys want more info or want to ask myself questions or anything, go check out Chalkboard. There's a link for that below. And Chalkboard is totally free. And one thing that is going to pop up a lot in here now is because we have a lot of college football bets starting to populate. So I'm just going to remove all of those. And that is actually all of these lines. So I'm going to take all of these out and then we'll build a parlay around baseball bets and see what we could get that stands out. All right. So this is a three-leg parlay over on FanDuel. It is all baseball bets. Don't have any of those college football bets for a month from now. But if you guys want to play some college football bets, we got a bunch of those popping up that are plus EV and odd shopper. But over eight and a half runs in the Royals Guardians game, we have here for Ellie De La Cruz to record a run. And then the John Gray under five and a half strikeouts, 17% expected win rate, 2% expected EV plus 474 odds. That is our best fan duel parlay of the day. Now that is going to do it for us today over here. If you guys like the video, do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Good luck with all your bets today. I'll be back here tomorrow. Have a good one, everybody.